Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta with my friend Jay from Spiritually Raw with our weekly um, pep talks, updates, all that stuff to really try to help everybody, including ourselves, get into a new thought process around this uh, new way of living, this 5D way of living. So how are you today, Jay? I'm doing good, Bryce. I'm doing good. Yeah, it's like we got to there's a new world, whether we admit it or not, there's a new world coming and we got to shake the money fungus. <laughs> and uh, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> shake it up and clean it up and, and get ready for it. We got to get prepared for it. Right. So this is good. How we doing this? Yeah, they say nothing can stop what's coming and we it's coming. It's our choice, whether it goes positive or negative. And so we want to start preparing to get it to go into the positive because, yeah, we want to get rid of the fungus. So you sent me yesterday something, Jay, that I sent out to my people. And I will also link it down in the description box below if anybody missed it. But you want to talk about that a little bit today, Jay? Yeah, you know, we're, we're just look. The, the way to w the way to live in this 5d world or the way to get and elevate the 5d world is to be constantly taking action i mean so we commit to doing something very measurable you know what i mean like very impactful like you know we, like a lot of times bryce we're like me and april we'll be like okay like, we, it's, what's what's the impact today where did we make an impact today right so you know we think of things that that could possibly help people and so obviously being in business and you know we talk a lot about the asia and it's uh it's got the whole network marketing and then there's a lot going on about well how do i recruit this person or how do i get this person involved and blah 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 and, and you know we, we, we're taking a position of you shouldn't recruit anyone you should attract everyone you know and that was the that was really the title of it because that's the whole thing i think that everybody gets annoyed with business in general or these types of things is because they feel like they're being recruited where bryce i really feel like we're big boys and girls at this juncture in our lives i don't think we need to be poked and prodded and reminded everything if we're ready we're ready and that should be a simple and we should respect people to that point yeah, I agree with you 100%. In that, yeah, absolutely. It should be, it should be. A, and that's why, you know, for me, it's like if someone says no, they say no. If they say yes, they say yes. And it should be about that. I don't, in any business, in any business, I don't want to work with somebody who doesn't really want to be there, right? You want to, you want to work with somebody that actually wants to be there and actually wants to take advantage of whatever that business is and the opportunity. So I absolutely get that for sure. Yeah, you know, think about all that before, like, you know, like when people talk about business, look, you know, we're talking about the five, the economy, how to become abundant by helping other people become an abundant. So we really are practicing these collective consciousness steps. But think about before, if you, the energy it takes to try to talk someone into something is just, I, I don't even know how you can even measure that. Um, but then they do it. And then it's like, they feel like you're, they're doing you a favor. And then, you know, you, 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 you know, all these things that go along with it. It's so exhausting where why not try on a world or give yourself the possibility that it's not, it's not like that, that if you're connected and harnessing your spirit, that the right energy is going to match with you. And then you can just talk through things properly. And, and that's all it is. And, and I, and I think that, you know, maybe this is the nefarious forces, Bryce. I was thinking about this the other day. Maybe it is. Maybe it is that like you take something good, like let's say network marketing, which we believe is a really good concept by helping people sharing and companies paying people versus the things. But maybe it is the nefarious forces that have really messed it up to that degree and told people, no, you got to do this. You got to you got to call people uh, seven, eight times a day or, or seven, eight times before they'll say, yes, I don't want anybody calling me. Believe me, if I would say no, you're not going to talk yes. me into this. I mean, it's, 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 you know, I mean, really, I, I just think people are at that point in time, but there's still that, I see a lot of that, which I, which prompted, a, and I, and look, I want to, I want to pay all of that respect because there was a point in time that I believe it worked. I believe it was a foundation to something, but like anything in life, like histo history and, and any type of teachings, things change. We're in a new world. There's a new sheriff right. in town. And I want to reiterate, the, we, we talked about this a lot on my channel as well, because if you look at spirituality and science, which the two should be one and the same, darkness can't create anything. It can't. Only the light can create. That's it. The only thing darkness can do is steal from the light and invert it. And so when it comes to any type of structure for anything, it was originally created by the light for the good. And then it gets it gets mucked up with... Um, you know, with dark, with with narcissists, with psychopaths, with people who don't have the best intention, who want you to start harassing other people. And so, yes, if you take it back to the bare bones, nothing in this world was ever created for evil or for bad. It was all created for good. And it's our responsibility to dust off the cobwebs 
to do some cleansing and then repurpose it for what it was init initially used for, which is good. Yeah. And I think really looking at people, because you know, people are wanting to find a new way. They just don't want to use old habits yeah. or old disciplines in the new way. And so that's what we're here sharing with you is not so much a new way, but probably a way that, you know, we, like you said, we've dusted off and been able to say, hey, wait a minute, that's, I think we may have gotten tapped into something. You, you, you know, we'll, we'll be, we'll be in life having to learn more and more telepathic communication. We'll learn how to have, we'll having to learn more of this kind of commu yeah. communication, how to use energy because we are energy and we need to put our energy into energy, <laughs> you know, versus just trying to think about how many times this is and the science behind, you know, the sale, if you would, and all that stuff. And I think that's where, that's where, um, Bryce, you putting these kind of shows together is, is just so it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to help people. I mean, these are people that are going to just need to, you know, kind of figure things out. I mean, they're getting stuck right now and they don't know why they're getting stuck. They're getting frustrated and they don't know why they're getting frustrated. And people call me all the time. They're like, Oh, Hey, I want to approach my friend. What should I say? And how do I do this? Or how do I pitch this? I'm like, first of all, you never pitch anything. You know no, what I mean? Yeah. You just yeah. talk. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, if you're not, if you're, if you're in sales or in your business and you know, the rule of thumb we've always talked about is if, we're in sales and business. And if we don't, we're not communicating as if we were to our best friend in the world or our most beloved ones. And we're not communicating that same fashion, that same tone, then, you know, th that's not being your authentic self. Absolutely. And I said this, and I'll say it again to you guys, if to understand what he's saying, if you go back and look at like Stanislavski and his idea of even like when it comes to storytelling and acting, he always said that in order to sell not sell, but in order to like do a good performance or whatever, you had to be speaking from a place of truth. And so like when you pitch something, people know you're trying to sell them something because there's a dishonesty there. There's not a, there's not a, so yeah, when you're talking to your best friend or you're talking to your, your parents or your spouse or your, your, you want to come in a place of truth and that's where there's no sell. Right. And I, I say that to people all the time. Like I can only quote unquote sell I hate using that word, things that I actually believe in because yeah. there's truth there. I believe in yoga. I believe in the ancient texts. I believe in Asiya. I've seen what Asiya does. So it's coming from a place of honesty. It's not pitching anything. It's coming from a place of honesty. And that is, I think that's a huge difference between where we have been and where we're going. Yeah, totally. And you know what? And I just some disciplines maybe do and still like I can share with you what, what we do is like i know like me and april will just go work out or go for a run and i and i and, I, and just but it, but it'll be like this morning for example like i got things i need to get clarity on right so my first response is let me run it out you know what yeah. i mean let me run it out because i gotta get there and i'm like you know and i know what i gotta do so i i think so many people they want everything but they don't go to whatever created us to try to find the answer that is a hard road i'm telling you but if you whatever your form of it i don't know i mean i'm not i don't want to that's, well, that's I, you know jay i push that on my channel all the time because the human body we're made up of mostly water water is emotion and so if that's what the ancient yogis discovered without really knowing that if you move the body then you're moving the emotion and when you move the emotion you start to it's like when you go to your attic and you go to clean it out and you find like your old scrapbook and all these memories come up you're doing the same thing within your body so absolutely like going for a run doing a 20 minute yoga class like you know what that's going to help get you into your own state of mind too absolutely and i think that's one thing speaking of new way of thinking versus old way of thinking i think we've been totally confused we think exercise is just about fitting into a size zero pants but no i guarantee you those ancient yogis and those egyptians and all the people that practice an alchemical exercise they weren't trying to look good in a bathing suit right something right. else yeah, they were looking for Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it is. It's critical. I tell you, if, if you if anybody watching this right now is since uh, you're sincere about taking your business to another level or you want to start a business, but you don't know, I would say your first step is you have to learn how to meet your spirit. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to get reacquainted with that, you know, meditation, exercise, however you want to define it. I mean, but get connected where something opens you up or like you said, you feel the emotion and then you get the downloads and it's like, you know, I'm looking at it this way, Bryce. I'm like, okay, look, every morning I wake up, I get blessed to wake up, but I got to go and get my direction from the day from whoever and whatever. 
That's it. That gave me the direction. I get a clear path. I know exactly who to do, what to do, who I'm talking with, what I'm going to say. I get it very clear and mapped out for me. And, and you do that. You it's a it's an amazing, it's a beautiful relationship. It's a beautiful uh, connection you have with yourself. I mean, people call it the Holy Spirit or or your source or whatever that is for you. It's, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. It's a different it's a, vocabulary it's a, words, different vocabulary. Words, but same I think thing. we're talking about the same, same thing. thing. But, but you meet. You have to learn to meet yourself. I mean, I would say numero uno. That's step one, because then otherwise you're you're struggling because you yeah. you don't know how to you don't know how to bring your spirit out because people are attracted to your spirit yeah. is what they get drawn to. So you got to meet that person. Who are you? Who are you without the mask on? Who are you? And that's one thing too. We think about the, the thought process. Sometimes we get caught up in our own our own bullshit. Right. Um, my favorite mottos or, or mantras is don't believe everything you think. And so that's another thing that just jiggling up that that ex with exercise or even if it's just turning some music on in your living room and dancing ar around for 10 minutes will kind of break that system of thought um, so that you can start to change that system of thought. You can start to change um, these patterns of thought that we have that, you know, the way if, if the way you've been thinking all these years is not giving you success then we've got to change the way you think. Right, right. And you know, the other thing too, is another discipline people can look at is like, what do you want? Like, really take a look at what it is you're wanting to do, how much money you're wanting to make. And does the time and energy put into that equate to what you're making? For, for example, people say, well, I'll work, uh, you know, an hour a day on this project, and they expect to make $10,000 a month. And that might be in some cases, uh, you know, realistic, but in a lot of cases, it's not. So it's, it's, you have to just take a look at what you're looking for. And I think this is where a lot of business industries sell this. So just be careful about this, because you have to also, yes, you have to have your faith. But we live in a three dimensional space where you have to be very pragmatic about it, too. You know, you yeah. have to you have to learn to balance those parts out. One's giving you direction on how to play in this land. You know, so if you want to make a million bucks, but you think you're going to do it in 10 minutes a day, you know, let's maybe try rethinking that. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Adding some time or lowering the number, whatever, but just try to do something where it doesn't set you up. And and there's a lot of that going on, Bryce. You'd be, you'd be shocked about how many people, you know, as I'm talking to people all day long, but there's a lot of that disconnect of, of what you got to do to get to where you want to and it's not so much about working hard it's working in conjunction you know with yourself with your higher self absolutely my dog's agreeing with you right now uh, yeah, if you uh, see barking. See, dog's somebody, gonna get fed tonight that's awesome somebody <laughs> must be at the front door right now that's all i got to say but no I, I will say too as you're saying that jay something my grandfather used to say all the time and i know people have heard this if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And so if right. you have to put energy into making money, then what is it you love to do? What brings you joy? I personally work like 16 hours a day. And yes, it, it becomes a lot sometimes, but I love what I do. I actually really enjoy doing my research, putting these shows together. I love it. And so it's not so, as much of a burden. Imagine, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of our people watching right now work 16 hours a day at jobs they hate. Oh my God. Yeah, it is. And I, and I'm like you, you know, April's we, we, me and April, we get up at like five and I'm not kidding you. We pretty much force ourselves to go to bed, but we're, we're, we're in the moment. We're feeling the energy. We're feeling the flow. It's, it doesn't feel like work. No, it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun. And, and yeah, you know, sometimes it does get tiresome, but you don't feel like, Oh, I got to do this. Cause it's a job. You know what I mean? And, and I think breaking that pattern, Cause you can, you can do things because it's, because it serves your soul. And that's what we're doing right now. We're serving our soul. There's a better way. Everybody look, you gotta, you want to, um, again, we talk about ASEA and we talk about things as far as particular specific three dimensional opportunities that you can make money in this lifetime, let's call it. But the reality is, is that, you know, get to a point of where you can actually have people coming to you. That's the kind of world you want to live in. You want to get in a world where people People, your soul cluster, your soul vibration will find you and they're going to want to say to you something along the lines of this. They're going to want to say something like, it's great to meet your spirit. What are you doing professionally in your lifetime and how can I support you? Because we're supposed to meet. Now, isn't that a nice conversation? Yeah. Oh, That's and it's so, it's so easy. It's, it's, um, you know, as you're saying that, Jay, I'm actually thinking back and I think a lot of girls, maybe some boys will, will agree with this, you know, 
for the first like from my 20s to my 30s i dated awful guys like terrible men like you know, horrible and but there was something with the way i was thinking about this is how this difficulty this drama is what's but it but there was always it was always hard right and it wasn't until I started to rework my perception and going to trauma therapy, all that kind of stuff, that I realized that when things are easy, when things are right, they're easy. They flow easy. There's no, there's not a lot of obstacle. And that's my my boyfriend now is a very easy relationship. And the same thing is with business. I think we're so conditioned, especially in the Western world and capital. And there's nothing wrong with capitalism, but to that we have to like labor, 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 and be miserable in order to make money. But it's it's there is labor involved, but you don't have to be miserable. It it should be easy. It should be it should be what you love. It should be it should be excited. How many people watching right now are excited to go to work every day? How many? Very yeah. rare. Very few people are actually excited about going to work on Monday morning. That's just not right. I no. mean, it's not right. that's not that's not infinite design for us. I don't think infinite design was says there would be people here and then there'd be people there at, or doing this and then be people this. I think that everybody has everybody has a chance to find their purpose. Yeah. Why you came here? You got to search. I mean, think about this. I mean, try wherever you're working right now. Go on the search if you haven't already. Go on the search and find out who dropped you here. <laughs> Why do they drop you here? And start start that process. It'll start to change the way you look at life. It really will. And it won't be like you're a machine. And the things that they feed us, the things that you watch, are the things that keep you into this messed up machine. Many call it the matrix. Um, but it keeps you in that thing where you just literally become a, a, a zombie, a robot, whatever. So if you feel yourself going that direction, you feel I was up north. I got to tell you, I was up north um, and we went to Pennsylvania. Sorry in advance for those in Pennsylvania, about what I'm about to say. But <laughs> let me tell you something. Oh, my God. I felt like I was in an I just came out of an apocalypse or something. I was like, I got to get out of the state. You know what I mean? It, it was it was dreary. It was it was dull. And just where I was at, it was just like, man, I was like all my energy felt like the life source was getting out. And but it was like very mechanical. Like everything I saw, everybody, their, their their mannerisms, everybody was very mechanical. And I think we're getting into that mechanical life. You're getting conditioned yeah. life. And we think it's normal. You, you got to be careful about that, everybody. If you got children, don't let them get into a mechanical life. Break them out of that. Pull them out. Pull them out. Pull out whoever you love out of that. If they, if you if, you know, give give them a chance to explore that because that's that's not finding your spirit. That's going down a place that we don't even know what's happening. Well, we can see what's happening. You're getting unhealthy. You're getting unhealthy. You're getting overweight. You're getting broke. Um, you know, skyrocketing anxiety. Skyrocketing. skyrocketing. That's what's happening by staying in that line. So yeah. So I will going. say, you know, I I know I can I can see the questions now, like. You know, how do I figure out what I, because I know, you know, I can see the questions now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of try to cover this with you, Jay, quickly. Um, if you ever, I've never been to AA, but I know there's many people who have been to AA. And what's the first, the first step of AA? It's admitting you have a problem, right? right. So the first thing would be admitting that you're miserable. Right. You know, if, right. You, you're, if you're if you love your job, awesome. Then this is not the video for you. You you can just go right along. But if you're watching right now and you're like, God, yeah, the first thing is for you not to lie to yourself. Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with what? Because your work is where you spend most of your time. Is it bringing you joy? And if the answer is no, then there, here's the next step. And I would say, Jay, people, because people have asked me this before, like, how do I know? Well, go back. Think about when you were a child. Children, little kids, they know who they are. They know what they like to do. What did you like to do when you were a child? For me, when I need to get back to that place, I'll go back to like 12-year-old me and I'll listen to like all the 90s music that came out that year, right? Just to bring myself back to that place of that innocence of who I was in that moment before college and university and all that stuff started to get in the way and the stress of bills and you know all that kind of stuff is there any other what would you say um jay if somebody's like well this is all well and good but how do i even figure out where to go from here well i mean i'm i'm, I'm always gonna say like my my always starting point is to take a look at your surroundings like you said you know you got a problem admit you got a problem and that problem may be outside of you it could be literally your surroundings it could be your social media surroundings that you're hanging out with you run home to and you're just sitting there complaining about uh everybody you got about a hundred of you complaining about how broke you are in a group chat i mean that's probably not a good thing try to remove yourself out of those kind of things right 
go to a hundred people that are talking about the next thing that they're going to do in life. Right. So, um, you know, it, it, it you, it's going to start with the body. I believe, Bryce, I believe you've got to physically start to align yourself. You've got to watch what you're taking. And believe me, I listen, I've, I've had, oh man, I tell you, we've all like our, uh, we've all have our great memories about partying and stuff like that. Believe me, <laughs> but you know, there's comes a point in time where you got to be like, all right, I better draw that line now. So, um, so I think, at some point in time in your existence, you're going to have to realize that, you know, your, your body's going to have to be in a place where you can number one, physically, phys physically adapt to the vibrationals, the real vibrational phenomena that's happening in the planet. Right. So you have to be there with that. And then also that'll help you along spiritually. But, you know, if you really want to have a, if you want to really have a start point, it's connecting with yourself. I mean, that's it. Yeah. And that's going to be by cleaning your house up. So start with cleaning your house up. I mean, that could be your physical house. It could be your spiritual house. Clean up things where when you walk in, like, you know, I mean, I want to be able to walk into our place and be like, I love where I live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or go, I love where I love where I'm going to. Or I love how I look today. I love that my hair is growing back. I love this. I love that. I, I, you know, I don't want to want to be sitting complaining. If you're complaining about something, fix it. If it can be fixed, if you know it can be fixed. Certain, I understand certain things happen in certain people where they can't per se be fixed, maybe, but if you believe that's fine. But if in your heart, you know, something can be fixed and it takes you to fix it, fix it. Yeah. Just make it one, and fix it. one step. My mother, because I know it's, I, I started developing anxiety disorders when I was in high school. And my mother used to always say, you know, how do we eat an elephant one bite at a time? We take it one step at a time. It doesn't mean tomorrow you're just going to have this whole new career and you're a millionaire. No, you got to take it one step at a time when you remove yourself. And and I'll say I was watching um, a little show last night. I love my reality TV. But um, the guy in the show, oddly enough, was really unhappy with his work. And he loved to make birdhouses. And so he started an Etsy shop with birdhouses. Like it's something as simple as that. What do you, what, what, you know, if, if a 20 year old can open up an Etsy shop and be super successful, why can't a 40 year old, why can't a 50 year old, you know, there's so much start to, to, what do you love to do? If it's making birdhouses, if it's making jewelry, if it's, if it's reading, um, how many voiceover actors are they looking for to read audiobooks? Every book goes to audio, start looking into that, you know? It's you know what I remember doing this when you're talking like when I was in my twenties we used to do this is that I would get together a group of us at least once a week I mean it wasn't always so structured but it was relatively consistent and we would all all of us would always bring over in our twenties we would bring together this is the next multi billion dollar idea and we will talk through it we were in that energetic space you see what I mean we yeah. don't know what that we were doing or talking about it could have been like doing whatever I mean it could have been way outlandish but the fact is we were talking about it. You know, yeah. we were we were in groups talking about it. We were we were energetically getting getting the goosebumps. We were feeling a different part of ourselves. We were we were doing something, and and you know, so so you know, people getting in pockets and talking about these things. Maybe you get home off of work and you just you just really get together with a group of your friends that just got off work too, and instead of complaining about work, think about the idea that came up while you were sitting there in the lunch break that your boss said that you were allowed to go for 15 minutes or that your boss said you had to come back because you were 30 minutes late or whatever like that. At your age, you don't want that, right? No. So take those thoughts, think, take those thoughts and start getting in groups of people who also have dreams, also want something better, also want a better existence. And and talk through those things because it may not be like okay well i want to be like uh you know uh, like have this kind of website or that kind of workshop or whatever but the, but the end result the universe starts to feel that vibration make right. sure you have a way to get it but you'll start to see hey wait a minute i'm starting to make some money at this i see yeah. something it's a domino effect it's like god doesn't just give it to you 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 have you take one step at a time and all of a sudden it starts to appear it's so interesting jay because i just told you before we started filming that I am going to be interviewing next uh, Claire Headley from Scientology. And as you're talking about this, one of the things that I love about all of the uh, Scientology people that have left the religion, and I'm saying this because I know there are people that are going to be very Debbie Downer, like it's easy for you to say blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you to go watch their videos. There was one woman, I'll, I'll link her channel below, Amy Scobie, left Scientology in her 40s. She was older than me when she left this religion. She had no education. None of them have high school diplomas. They've been in a cult their whole lives. Most of them don't even have driver's license. They have nothing, no money, no checking account. Literally left the cult, disconnected from family, have nothing. 
all of these people at an age in life where you should be looking towards the next half of your life literally pick themselves up and start and now they're functioning this woman amy scoby and her husband who left the cult in their 40s with nothing slowly started they got a job and they started to buy old furniture and refurbish it and ended up creating a huge company because that's what they love to do they love to refurbish furniture. so if they and i would tell you guys if you're feeling like lackluster or you know you you can't get out of this go watch their videos because they literally started with nothing zero not one dollar to their name and they built something for themselves but they were so happy just to be free to wake up with that morning every day and be in, in gratitude of being a free person that it gave them and so it's possible it's just re it's it's rewiring your brain yes wake up every morning being grateful for your life and that and i guarantee you most of our friends watching right now if they were to change their lives they're not doing it without with zero money in their account right yeah. so so you're better off than these people were and they've made a life for themselves that they love so yeah i mean why not explore where we're at right now i mean this is a pretty cool thing and i and i i, I mean i'm at a place in my life where i just want to explore right i want to be like oh, that's that's pretty cool what is that about why the class you know every single thing now i mean i think it's important that we start to explore really look at what you get because i believe when you start to look in terms of that price i believe that's where more and more is shown to you be, I, I really do i feel like you know the evidence that's been shown to me anyway is that when i look harder i get shown more you know yeah. i don't want to know what the hell's going out there i mean you know and and, and, it, and and looking in there doesn't have to mean looking into the worst that the world has to offer let's look into the best that the world has to offer right i be in your backyard you know 100 percent agree with you i think sometimes we get so stuck in that pessimistic um lifestyle that we don't realize how much beauty is around us and once that starts to shift and change everything starts to shift and change now jay the the, the course you said i'm going to put all the links down in the description box below because people can actually contact you and get more clarity from you correct right so here's the cool thing about this this is this is five dimensional this is the 5d riches five dimensional working this is how it works in nature okay so what bryce you're talking about right now is yet to come right what we're doing is we're saying look ask us what you want right and let's just talk about it and, and that's what we're wanting to do because we feel like it's a much better way of looking at it than just like having someone's some people staring at a screen or or watching at a watching slide presentation or that or whatever for for hours on end we'd rather engage with someone tell us what you want and, and we'll give you an answer you yeah. know and that's yeah. all it is so we're inviting people to submit a one minute video with their name where they're from and what their occupation is and they ask a very specific question it's all in the link descriptions of some example questions in there and then we'll answer it for them we'll give them a direct response to their answer oh that's amazing so, yeah, so yeah. that's that's going to help you guys so that you guys who are feeling like you and yeah if you're tired and hate your job and hate your life and you're miserable it's going to be hard to be creative but having something like what jay's offering where you can send that video that might be the spark that catapults you in a totally different direction you yeah. just need that one little push in the other direction so absolutely that's amazing you guys are doing that and i will put that down in the description box below guys yeah. so that you know how to do that because yeah and and that's the that's the thing about the positive side right the negative side hides their success they don't tell people how they got the positive side shares and tries to help everybody yeah we, we want to do it in a way where it is it's 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 what do you want to know you know what i mean like we don't want to tell you what we know i mean that's boring we knock about that we'll tell you what do you ask us a question we'll get it out and, we, and, it, and it is it's just the way people communicate what'd you do how'd you get there did this 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 and and we're going to do it that way and from that we'll formulate this experience let's call it this journey for people from your questions so submit your questions in give us an idea what it is you're wanting to know more about and then we'll know how to better it we'll know how to better frame this whole uh event if you will journey and i will promise everybody that does submit a question though they do they will get an answer awesome that's yeah. amazing be a video cool. back from us either myself april or both of us awesome so you guys i'm going to put that in the description box if you've made it to the very to this part of the video i also want to hear you know give jay and me some ideas as, 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 as far as creative spark of something that maybe you're struggling with um with with recalibrating your thought and and put that in the comment section so that we can take that information that you guys are giving us and try to also help in these vi videos kind of turn the ship around a little bit course correct um for the because 
you know, it's you, you are responsible for your own self. Absolutely. But there's also a collective consciousness too. And so if, you know, two or more people start to change and everybody's going to start to shift as well. And so, um, and so, yeah, I'll leave that in the comment section below and I will have all these links for, um, for your question, your 5d manifestation for Jay in the description box below too. Yeah. Help us to help you, everybody. I mean, let us know what you need to hear more of. Let us know where you're stuck, whatever, and we'll work it. I mean, we're, we're here to help bring the energy, you know, Bryce is graceful with her platform. So, you know, Come absolutely. On yeah, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I just want to say sometimes too, I, I feel like I'm being nudged to share this as well. The beautiful thing about this, the journey that we're all on and why I think God doesn't just plop everything down in, in your lap at once is because sometimes you take one step in the direction you think it's going somewhere, but it ends up going somewhere completely different. That's better than you even imagined it. And I know that for me specifically, when I started doing my YouTube channel, I literally was just going to be like a deep dive folklore channel. That was it. And it drastically changed and turned. And without those changes and those turns, I wouldn't have met Jay. I wouldn't have met Catherine Edwards. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have a Sia in my life. And so be ready. When you take that first step, expect the unexpected. Because where you think it's going, sometimes where it's really going is 10 times better than what you could have even, even imagined. But you have to take that first step. Yeah, just allow for it, for real. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you, Jay. Is there anything else you want to say today before we... Oh, much yeah, much love uh, to you, Bryce. Thanks a lot for always having me on. Thanks, everybody. Just again, you know, give, give us this. Because, you know, like when we're doing this, you know, everybody watching is... We're talking ourselves through it. So this is helpful for all of us. This is helpful for the collective. This is how we do it. We're, we're giving you real life examples of how we talk through things, how we do this. So continue this movement, continue this revolution, continue this conversations, whatever you want to call it, and continue to tune into Bryce's channel. <laughs> and Jay's too on Spiritually Raw, you guys. Right. Awesome, you guys. Well, Thanks, we Bryce. will see you next week. We're going to, I know this is a day late today. That was my fault. Yes, well, not my fault. It was the construction workers. <laughs> but anyway guys so hopefully we'll be back by tuesday or wednesday of next week so please again ask us your questions below and we'll talk to you guys later bye everybody